Hey, good morning. It's Steve. It's a rainy, miserable day. Unfortunately for you, that's got me stuck in the shed. I thought I'd bring the old poo land, poo lawn, whatever, lawnmower in here and, uh, well, you can, uh, join me in listening to this thing beg for mercy. It's really getting tired of the stuff I do to it. Keep it going. I gotta do some more to it today. I thought I'd bring you along. I ain't talking to myself. You can see this axle here. You know, it's it's perpendicular to the axis of pushing. But this guy right here has got a bit of a twist to him because the old deck is getting a crack in there. And, uh... You know, anybody could just weld up a crack. What do you say we do something a little bit different today? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put them two guys in, uh, together and create a bit of a straight axle so we can use the strength in this side of the deck and what's left of the strength in this side of the deck. That way you really make a strong front end on your little push mower. All right. Let me get a piece of metal and we're going to weld them two guys together. We'll still be able to adjust it. Got to make some repairs to them wheels. And, uh, man, we'll see if we can get the old Poulin lawnmower to go a little bit more for us. I got about one more year. Most people would have thrown this in the trash. But, uh, man, let's see if we can keep the old guy going. All right, let's get some work done. Quit talking. Man, there's probably several hundred different ways of doing this, but I got a piece of one inch by quarter inch hot rolled clamped up there. I'm going to position the old dude about right there on this bracket. It ought to clear everything. we would be able to continue to use the existing height. Let's weld old guy on there and... Uh, man, just keep on mowing. There we go. Got it welded on it. You know, we don't even need this one anymore. Let's get him out of the way. So we don't have to have two hands to adjust the height of it. Let's go over here. Let's send it all the way down. Well, I guess the mower would be going up, but... That's all the way down high as the mower can be bring it up come on one-handed dummy get up there all the way up that's how you get rid of the independent front suspension on a poodle and push mower man i might uh you know, if I put a piece of metal from here, I could come up here and pivot off the mounting of that handle. Man, we'll run it all the way up to the top there, and we'll be able to raise this thing up and down while we're push mowing it, in case we run into a stump or something. But hey, this was step one. I'll get, uh, got to fix these wheels. Let me set that up. Man, you know these wheels are all wore out like all of them are. I'm going to, uh, man, I think I'm going to redneck repair these wheels again. They're, uh, they're pretty wobbly. But I know that, you know, that's a half inch shaft. I notice if I take this piece of nipple right here, quarter inch nipple, Man, old dude go right through there. Pretty, pretty stiff. And, uh... Man, we cut that dude off. Drill him out to a little bit tiny or more. A little bigger than half inch. Uh, man, we can just start all over again. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll see. Man, just in case this works. Let me show you what I did. Took an old piece of half inch copper pipe, cut a long slit in it. It measured, you know, it's a little bit too loose. So hopefully when we shove old dude inside that wheel, it'll squeeze him up. 
tighten up around here get rid of some of the slop fit inside the wheel really good man life will be good let's check it out You know, that ain't bad for redneck. Man, I'll get another season out of this mower easy. Man, I hope my dad don't mind if I use the last of this caliper grease on my axle here. Better put some on it because it's metal to metal now. Don't tell him. Man, you know, looking at the back of the old poo land here... Old dude's doing pretty good over here. Ain't got no complaints about that one, but, uh, man, you can tell I've been here before. <laughs> what do you think? Is it time to buy another one? Well, you want to see if we can make a thing run for just a little bit longer. We got through last year with that guy. Let's see if we can do something to get through this year. Anybody can just spend money on it. But, man, what if you ain't got no money? Let's see what we can do. I'll get him off of there. Man, let's see what kind of a concoction I got going on here. I don't remember what I did last year. Man, whatever I stuck in there broke apart. Oh, you know what that is? That's epoxy. <laughs> I remember now. Yeah, we, uh, man, let's, let's work something else out here. Maybe we can, uh, do something. Man, we'll do something different. Yeah, I remember. See, you got a piece of pipe, quarter-inch nipple or something, and stuck it in there and epoxied it. Man, the ants are all over a wheel here. I bet it's, they're living inside of it. All right, let me get that taken care of. Man, I think I know what I'm going to do here. My dad bought me a saw blade a while back. I hope this don't upset him, but uh, I'm going to take this brand spanking new 10-inch Irwin saw blade, take a little bit of the teeth off of it, and... uh. Get the old dude to set down inside of this tire. And then I can use this wheel here as the support that these plastic pieces used to do since I no longer have a center in it. I'll go ahead and put that nipple right back into there. It'll go into this washer which is being supported around this depression. And, uh, man, we'll tack weld that thing together and, uh, we'll turn this into a steel wheel, but it'll look like it's chrome plated from the back or something. Let's see what it looks like. Might look stupid. That'll look something like that, but it'll never break again, hopefully. Hey, Dad. Next time you decide you want to buy me a saw blade... You think you could get me one with some teeth? <laughs> Man, got a little grease in there. Everything was going really, really good. I got old dude welded in there. I never even gave any thought to it, but when I welded this side, it sort of melted the plastic and I lost the compression on it. So I had to run some bolts through that saw blade and pin it to this original wheel here. But the old dude's, uh... That's pretty stiff. Spinning okay. But you know, uh... Man, I'll get about three or four more years out of that thing. It's better than all the redneck repairs I've done in the past. I gotta do one more thing to this lawnmower.
I'm not going to uh, make you endure any more of my nonsense. But this thing's always falling down. And I find myself bent over, hunching the ground. And, uh, man, my back starts killing me. So I'm going to do something to hold this thing up in the air. I might put some nuts and bolts in it or something. But, man, the old pool land's going to just keep on going and going and going. So man, if you ever got an old lawnmower and things are starting to look bad, don't uh, don't give up on it. Take some of your failures <laughs> and weld them together. Fix the deck, fix the wheels. Do whatever you got to do to keep the old thing going. Last thing you want to do is spend money on something you don't want to do. All right, you guys, I'm done goofing around. I think I'm going to take it out here and mow for a little bit. After I deal with a handle. Thanks for giving me somebody to talk to. Thanks for the saw blade, Dad. I love you. You guys take care. I'm out.